Tribune, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, family torn by grief as crash kills kids. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. When Amanda Wright, her four children, along with three other kids and two adults, set out on a trip to Skateland in Old Arbor Saturday afternoon, the excitement and joy felt by the youngsters were palpable. But the family was jolted by a horrific traffic tragedy on the Old Arbor Main Road that killed two children and left at least four others hospitalized up to Sunday afternoon, Donneth Stort, grandmother of four of the children, including one of the deceased, said the children were euphoric as they anticipated the summer excursion. I saw them Saturday morning, and the runner hugged me up and said, Grandma, Grandma, we are going to Skateland, she said. Stuart said she has a wonderful relationship with her grandchildren, who sit outside the front yard and wait until she comes home from work in the evenings. She was Philosophical Sunday, thanking God for spending the lives of some, I could have lost all of my four grandchildren and my son's stepdaughter. I said yesterday over the hospital, I will never question Jesus because God knows everything best, the grandmother said. Stuart received overwhelming support from neighbors who showed up in their numbers at the hospital mourning the loss of the two children. Tammy Bryce, six, the youngest child for right, was also the life of her household and beloved beyond measure in the Delaware Vegas city community did not survive the incident, neither did a nine-year-old named Abigail. Little Tamizar attended De La Vega Basic School, while Abigail was a student at Bridgeport Primary School. When Wright returned home Sunday afternoon, having spent the night with another family member, she spoke in hushed tones as the crying and grief had taken a toll on her voice. She had a section of her hands down to her fingers bandaged, telltale signs of the crash trauma. Wright's first child, Commander Mullings, 13, is still being treated in hospital. So, too, is her seven-year-old son, Colin Bryce, who sustained a broken leg and arm. Wright's daughter, Tashoya Mullings, 10, has been released from hospital. Mourning echoed across the Spanish town community as women and men alike wept at the passing of a six-year-old they called Naughty. Her nickname belied the well-mannered child that she was, based on a plethora of testimonials from residents whose hearts were broken at the news of her death. At the family home, Tamisar's grandmother recounted how her youngest granddaughter would wake up in the morning saying, Hey grandma, wake up. It's time for you to go to work. She was a very jovial little child. She was not a rude child. All the big man them, them cry for naughty, she said. The police reported that 11 people were involved in the two vehicle crash. Several of the crash victims sustained severe brain injuries and fractures. Dr. Sinclair Clark, acting senior medical officer at Spanish Town Hospital, confirmed on Sunday. The ones at Spanish Town Hospital are stable and non-critical, Clark said. The SMO said that two children were transferred to Bustamante Hospital for children and an adult to the Kingston Public Hospital. Clark said that he was alerted to the mass casualty around 6.30 p.m. Saturday by accident and emergency unit staff. The crash happened at about 5.15 p.m. in the vicinity of Mokuk's Pen, St. Catherine. A 2012 Toyota Wish with nine people aboard and a 2012 Nissan AD wagon with two persons were traveling in opposite directions. When the drive of the Wish reportedly sought to overtake and the crash occurred, said Superintendent Dwayne Wellington, acting commander of the St. Catherine North Police Division. The road was wet, the cops said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.